all right everyone welcome back so today i would finally like to get these guys situated they've been out here for quite a bit and i think i have a cool build that we could make so i'd say let's go ahead and let's get started and i'll explain to you guys what i'm gonna do so i think actually right here in this direction is probably the best place to put it because i would love to have these guys outside as well walking around so so honestly, let's kind of just get started here. We'll get right into it today. So I think uh, it's going to take up most, most of this area. And um, I'm not sure on the dimensions yet. I think seven should be good. That way we have a middle point right there, as you can see. And then I was thinking we could do some sort of L shape like this. So uh, probably something along the lines of that and we'll have this one be seven as well so like so and uh how did i do this here this was one two three four five six seven so we go one more and then we'll go seven blocks again we have to play six this time like that and then what we can do is just kind of connect this right here I think I'm okay with that shape, but what I would like to do is extend the height of this. So I think I want it to be four tall, something like that. Jump down here in a second and see how that looks. I feel like that's a good height for the foundation here. And um, do something. Oh boy, miscalculation, hold up. All right, went one a little too far there. We got to line this one up now like this and then now we should have a center point like that there you go so excellent all right now i'm just deciding the wall color i kind of like uh the stripped wood for what's going to be the support beams and then i think this is actually a really nice block as well it's very clean cut and we can get some variants in there and then what i think i'm going to do is uh, obviously you guys have seen i love making those circle patterns so we can use the sandstone stairs as well with that so uh, now it's just a matter of designing what the actual um, building is going to be like regarding this section i think what we'll do is uh, we'll have the building right here and then we can just let uh, the sniffers wander around this area by making some sort of fence that goes around here which i think will look pretty cool and then we'll just go and add all the details later and so on and so forth so uh, let's hop up there and let's start building. All right, so I was thinking something a little like that, but I would like to make uh, this little circle window now. So uh, let me show you how I'm going to do this. So I think... Uh, okay, so I think we're going to do it like this. We're going to have... Uh, the two right there, and then we'll go up one. This is where our trap door will be. And now we can place a block and do that. Right? Is that what I'm trying to accomplish? Just trying to think about this as I am doing it here for you guys. It's a little hard to visualize, but I think that's about what I was going for right there. So uh, now we have that circular window there, and I should have some trap doors somewhere okay so we can build up here and then i was going to uh, basically think about having these be uh in this little section right here because that'll help uh smooth out that transition right it won't be as harsh uh, i don't know if i want one up there but i think we should definitely put one down there and we'll see what that one looks like right there i don't know if i'm going to keep it but if we step back and take a look uh, that's definitely the circle that I was going for. Now it's just a matter of, do I think that that fits? I think it's a decent starting point, uh, but I would like to add something in here. I feel like this really needs something to kind of separate this sandstone transition right in here. So I'm going to mess around with uh, a little idea. All right, I just thought about doing this a little differently. I actually think if we get rid of these two guys right here and then we just take some signs and place them like that i think that actually smooths out that transition a lot better and i quite like that a lot more so i think we're going to do that all the way around i just don't really know like what points we're going to be doing that at but we'll figure that out as we go and uh, then we can hop up here and i'm going to grab some of the sandstone where is it 
and now it's time to lay down some windows so i always love the alternating pattern i think that works the best with my style of building but for this one i'm actually i'm not even gonna make a window on this wall i feel like it'll look better without it just so it's not too busy or anything um we'll go for the four high for now i don't know if i'm gonna keep that but i would like to at least test it out and then i think if we do something uh maybe along the lines of that we could have the two nah let's do let's do the three i think three windows is better right there and we can just build up and fill this in all right i'd love to hop down and see how that turned out i did not like that at all we're gonna have to redesign that one right there but i think the rest of these are fine i like the way that this looks right here very simple then nice square window but i don't think these big windows really suit this uh building i think they work on this side i don't know why but i feel like that's fine but definitely not over here this is kind of a mess so i think i'm just gonna recopy that whole alternating pattern okay cool now we can start working on the roof this is the fun part and i believe today we're gonna be using more bricks i have been really really enjoying using bricks lately but i would love to add some sort of a combination into it i'm just thinking if we could also add uh terracotta would definitely work but i think this red terracotta might be too much but let's kind of lay it out and let's see so i was thinking what we could do is have uh the red terracotta right or excuse me this would be the red terracotta <laughs> maybe we could do something like this i feel like that's a cool gradient and then uh the resource pack I'm using has the varied bricks, but basically I was thinking like we could um, kind of do some sort of transition like that uh, and then kind of finish it off like this. So um, I don't know. I feel like that red terracotta is a little bit too much, so we may not involve that and we'll just use these five blocks right here. So um, I think this is a good place to start from. So uh, hopefully we have enough blocks. I don't know if we do, but um I think this is a good roof design and this is kind of the color palette that I'm going to go with. I wanted to show that to you guys there. So I say we go ahead and we get started and we make this roof. Okay. So let me explain the way I think I'm going to do this here. So, um, we'll go in and texture it later. Uh, but we'll just start with the bricks for now. And I'm thinking I'm actually going to use full blocks this time around, which is a little interesting if you know me. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is just kind of like, overhang it like this so we'll we'll do one block but then we'll jump up to two and then i think we'll continue this two all the way up until we meet a center point and then we'll go through and then retexture it and make it look all nice and pretty okay so this is what i was talking about here is now i'm just gonna head up to basically until we meet the center point which is this one right here but I'm gonna need a lot more blocks if I'm gonna do this. So we definitely gotta make a little uh, brick mining trip here. All right, so now that we're at ground level, you can see more of what I was talking about. So I'm going to uh, carry out this design right here. And then I'm thinking we could have some sort of uh, kind of like, um, so if you could picture the roof being in an L shape right here, right? It's gonna extend backwards, then go this way. I'm thinking right in this middle point where this block is right here, we could have a, uh, a small little tower that kind of breaks up and peaks uh, from the roof. Not very large, probably about the same height as this, but just something to kind of break up that roof and kind of make it look a little better. So uh, first, we definitely need to get more bricks. You can see I've only got eight, so that's not going to cover the roof. So time to go uh, dig some clay. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. What I'm basically going to do is hop up there and I'm thinking about lining this whole perimeter like so. So we'll keep the uh, bricks down to this level, just the one at the start. So kind of line the roof like this, right? This is going to be our foundation layer. And then we have the two that go up here. So 
we can add the two like this and basically we're just going to fill in the roof entirely like this and then we'll go through detail it and change up all of the actual uh colors and whatnot so uh, i'm going to work on filling this in and then i'll meet up with you guys in a second i already ran out of bricks that was an entire inventory worth of play that just with that whole roof so uh what i'm gonna do now is start adding in detail because i think it's actually gonna be better this way and especially with the bricks we're gonna get a lot of these back right so uh it shouldn't be that big of an issue so um i'm thinking what we'll do is uh first we should probably outline what's gonna be right there i think that would be the most logical thing to do and then we'll fill in this stuff uh, pretty much at the end. And I'm just going to go through and detail this. And I'm going to use uh, what I like to call the splotching technique, which is going to be I'm going to make kind of blobs of the texturing. So instead of doing it random like I do a lot of the time, which you can see with that one right there, I'm going to actually kind of make um, distinct areas that have different types of blocks. I think that'll actually look much better with this style of roof. So... Uh, I'm going to get rid of this dirt and we'll build this little section and then we can go from there. All right. So I think it would be cool if we did something like this, which is going to be, uh, I am going to uh, basically add uh, two blocks right here. That's going to be our base for um, this little window section that's going to be here. And then I'm going to use the sandstone walls to kind of be uh, like a rounded transition. This is a technique that I've seen being used recently that I really wanted to try out today. So uh, we have the walls being kind of our corner block right there. And then if we hop up here and do something like this, you can see now we can use that wall as our rounded transition. And I think it actually looks really nice. Um, it's got a cool kind of shape to it. So now we can just hop up here. And I think, um, I think we should probably go um i'm just deciding if i want to go one more block or not i don't think i do i feel like this is actually a pretty decent uh point but i do want to put windows here so we're going to extend this upwards like this and the panes are going to connect to that i didn't grab any i probably should have all right so now you'll be able to see uh what i was talking about so if we hop up here and we get the panes they actually connect to the walls so this means we kind of like create our own whole wall here so i think this creates a really cool kind of look and then we just need to uh get some more bricks and line them across the top so here's the way i'm going to do this if we hop up here so i think i'm going to make it kind of um i don't want it to be drooping but kind of in that sense uh so i'm going to break these here and dig this downwards and then I think I'm going to go something like that. So what we'll use is uh, we'll start it off with the uh, regular terracotta, right? Because this has a really nice color. So uh, that'll be our blend block. And then uh, in order to get that gradient, what I'm going to do is um, go from this to this to the bricks. So uh, I'm going to just kind of dig out one on the corners here and add the polished granite because that's going to help uh, transition this to uh, the regular granite. So you can head down like that, right? And uh, we just want to make sure we get all this stuff in the corners because uh, this is where uh, this block is going to go here. So uh, now we kind of have that smooth transition right there. And then what we can do is uh, get in here with the actual uh, granite like this. And we can use this to kind of be uh, that final piece of the transition. So... Uh, hopefully that looks pretty decent and uh, I'm just realizing I accidentally inverted <laughs> the way that I was planning to do this but uh, I think it should be fine I don't think it's gonna be too weird looking or anything so um, of course we'll know as soon as we step away whether or not I have done this right but I think it's uh, a good transition to work from as uh, they're all similarly similar look simmer similar similarly looking blocks there we go that one uh took a little bit to get out there oh yeah that looks fine right that's that is uh totally okay so um yeah we're gonna go with that pattern i'm just gonna kind of repeat that a few times up top there and uh we should have a good looking roof after that 
I also really wanted to get this one done before I forget. So I'm going to go in one block and I'm just going to add like these cobblestone walls on the roof here. That They need to be spaced more than that. Now that I think about it, there's no way I'm going to be doing that spacing. So I'm going to go three blocks actually. So we count one in and then we go three like that. And then one in and there we go and then three and something like that i think is fine and then we can have one in the middle and then uh this one we have three left so we can go that there's our three and then one more three which would be right there and those are all pretty evenly spaced and then we'll just take these iron bars and just kind of stack them on top here to give it a little bit more of a point so you can see how that kind of transitions that right there and uh, this is all just how you add detail to a building right you want to make stuff look a little bit more interesting a little more um, shape to it and so we add stuff like that all right let me hop up here and let me show you how i'm gonna do this so if we just get up like this uh, i am first gonna add some sandstone because this is gonna be where we're gonna put a lot of the uh, the roof blocks so uh, we're just going to make a ring like that hopefully that looks all right <laughs> and then i was thinking we could go uh with the stairs here or not the stairs excuse me um the bricks because the bricks are going to go like this so we're going to place uh four bricks like so and then i'm going to add my slabs in underneath it like this right here i just realized we're going to have to uh, replace a few blocks here in a second which is fine so I made just enough, uh, but we're going to have to go to these corners, and these corners are actually going to have to become bricks because you're going to be seeing these, so we don't want to see any sandstone behind that. So now we're going to have uh, a shape that kind of looks like that right now, and then we just want to make this square like so, and then we'll place uh, a temporary block in the middle. And then basically, I think we're just going to go up two and then up two again. And then uh, I don't have any iron bars on me, but I think this fence post could look cool if we put that up there. And then uh, I wanted to go down here and I wanted to add some more fence posts uh, on the corners like this. I feel like that's a cool uh, structural looking block. I really can't say that word today. Stru structure, structural, stru structural, structural, structural. All right, so that's what we have now. We have that nice little roof there. I think that looks really nice. Uh, oh, I forgot, though. <laughs> I did want to add these buttons right on that block right there. So we can add these buttons right here, just like that. And I feel like that's a nice little way to add an accent to uh, that roof section. It's got that cool little uh, button up there. Now, I did not want to pick this stuff up. Thank you very much. Okay, there we go. So you can see the, that button kind of breaks that whole thing up there. So now um, I would like to work on the back side of the roof because we didn't do that yet. So uh, I'm going to do some more texturing. We'll fill in this stuff right here, and then we can start figuring out what we're going to do with these guys. If we continue the oval pattern here, I feel like I kind of want to try it. I don't know if it's going to look good, but I think if we knock out them like this... And uh, I don't have any stairs on me. I'll have to make some in a second. But I think if we do something like that and just put stairs right there. All right. We have just enough to be able to make this work, I think. So uh, I do want to give it a try here and see how it turns out. So I w what I was trying to say was we could do um, something like this. And then uh, I think if we just like, I don't know, <laughs> put them right there and there. And then uh, maybe a few more right here to ease that transition a little bit. Uh, if we step back, I think it looks kind of cool. I just don't know how I feel about it because we have the two, like, there's like two of them right on top of each other. So I actually quite like it. I think it looks nice. I, I'm planning on having the windows behind that anyways, so I don't mind it. I think I'm going to keep it. All right, so I think it's time we make this little canopy thing. I think I'm going to put it right here i think if hmm i i don't know i was thinking about putting it in here right but then we have this thing right there no i don't know um i might try it i think that's what i'm gonna do first is i'm gonna try and see if i like it so basically what i was picturing was that um it wasn't overly massive or anything like that but basically we just had something like this that kind of runs underneath 
and then um, we can try and smooth out that transition a little bit and then basically just kind of have all these trap doors in here like this and I think that's gonna make a nice uh, little thing for the uh, whatever it's called um, can't think of words right now uh, but having some sort of fence post hanging down there um, I think that's the best spot for it. I don't think it would work over there. So uh, I do like that. I had some spruce fences on me and I was picturing that these were just kind of sitting in here like that. So now it's kind of got this uh, little thing in here that um, I don't know. I just kind of pictured a canopy there and I feel like it really needed to be done. So um, I think that's pretty good. I like how that is. I really like how that is. So um Oh, I forgot to do that right there. Whoops. I'm going to try something different with this window and I'm only going to add two stairs right there. I feel like that, um, I don't know that boxy, I might do it with all of these. Actually, it's something about that boxy look just is not working for me. I think it'll look much better if we make them uh, rounded off like that. So, all right. So this is my solution is we're just going to place full blocks in the center. That's actually going to give the window, uh, some depth and we'll add some, uh, instruments and whatever up here so that it looks uh... my brain just shut off again <laughs> we'll add some instruments up there so that it looks uh, decorated and whatnot and it's not just that flat piece because that looks a little awkward right now but uh, this is definitely the best way for us to do this if we just hop up here uh, I just want to add, I think a bunch of leaves are going to make this much better. So that's the next thing I want to do. And maybe some lanterns here and there and just stuff hanging off the outside. All right. This is always a very exciting part. So um, I think we could definitely add uh, a few over here. I don't want to do too many, right? Because it'll start, start to... Uh, to look weird if we add a ton of them so i think i'm just gonna add like a little bit here and there um and maybe something like this and then kind of just droop this one off the side and you can see that kind of gives it a nice little texture there but um i wanted to add quite a bit more over on this side because this is um very bare as you can see up here so let's uh scaffolding up there again scaffolding that's not a that's not how you say that scaff scaffold scat <laughs> don't know where i was going with that one okay so um i think definitely on the side here again we're gonna do that off um and i also think i want another one over here like this and uh this one is gonna kind of uh make its way up the whole roof and be quite uh, exaggerated like this and just kind of have it sit up here and almost kind of look like vines I guess like these vines are kind of going all the way up this thing so um, we'll just have it yeah, meet at a point like that or something um, but I want it to be very busy looking with the leaves over here so uh, hop down here it's always a little difficult to get under them um, then we can use the last three there so we've got plenty and plenty of leaves on the roof now do we want one up there that's what i am wondering i do like how that side has turned out but uh i feel like we could use a little bit more there is something i want to try on the bottom here which i think could look cool now what I would like to do is add some of the custom trees that we have made before. So I do want to put one uh, maybe around right here. And uh, these are very easy to make. So I'm going to go up two blocks, strip these logs, and then we'll place uh, the four fences in there. It's a little difficult to get up here. But we'll place the four fences like this. And then uh, we basically just kind of make um, this Thing on the outside which is like uh we'll, we'll place the the four here and then you just kind of keep going around keep going around like this and you'll end up with uh some sort of shape like that and then as you work up the tree you just kind of narrow it down in on itself so uh, i kind of just place them randomly and 
hope that the shape ends up looking okay. Uh, so we do something like this. And then as we uh, work our way up, we just narrow the tree down. And uh, this can be a short one, why not? And we'll only make it that big. But you can see as we hop down, um, it's a very nice looking tree. So uh, I'm going to go through and kind of scatter those through. Uh, the problem is I realized I used oak leaves here. And I really should have used uh, the birch leaves. As you can see, the birch leaves have a much darker green color. So uh, we can keep that one for there. <laughs> we can keep that one for now. It looks fine. But uh, definitely in the future... Got to use the birch leaves. All right, so the final thing I want to do for this build is I would love to um, kind of uh, retain them in a stone wall here. So I'm thinking something very uh, English looking, uh, especially in Scotland as well. I think they have a lot of this stuff where they have these um, farms that are surrounded by hedges or stone walls. And so I'm going to kind of craft my own little stone wall here i'm gonna make the outline first um probably i want it to be circular and i want them to have a lot of room to move around in here um but i'm thinking something like this all right so now you'll see how we're gonna do this i'm gonna go through and place some slabs like this and uh just kind of make it look randomly scattered by adding stairs and stuff and the slabs and kind of just all different orientations for these blocks because this is going to kind of give that rough look so you can see what I've done already is by adding all that stuff it really helps um, kind of break up that flat line and then we'll go through again and I'll just like place slabs and leaves and other stuff on the outside like this and that will um, kind of round off that edge so you can see that completely transforms that stone wall into a much more natural looking thing and that'll keep those guys encapsulated in there they shouldn't be able to get out so um we can just keep going through adding this stuff and i'll cut back to you in a second so there we go this is what it looks like on the inside and you can see the uh they are uh enjoying their new little thing we made for them as they're digging up some stuff for us but uh yeah i just wanted to have a lot more room for them to walk around over here and make it look a lot nicer all right a few more details i wanted to add was uh just in here i want to make this look a little better so i'm gonna try uh this technique which is um using fence gates here so uh i think what i'm gonna do is carry that down like that i don't love how that connects there but i think i'm just gonna honestly have to live with it <laughs> um we won't be uh paying too much attention to it anyways and then i'm gonna add the fence gates in like this not like that that is the wrong way uh try and get it on the side here and uh, we'll place another uh spruce block right in here like that and then we can do that and we kind of got this cool little uh connection now that looks much better than it did before so i'm gonna try and replicate something like that on this side maybe uh just by doing that right there i think that's an upgrade from what we had before and then we can add uh, another support beam in there maybe on this one too okay time for comment of the day so this one comes from that user right down there i'm not even gonna bother trying to say that <laughs> that looks a little difficult to say we'll go with wi-fi password how about that that looks like some sort of a wi-fi password or something but they say the way that you look at YouTube is so great. It's nice to see genuine content without the need for clickbait. Your builds are great. I love the new additions to the city. Great job. Do you have a favorite build from this world? Absolutely, I have a favorite build from this world. And that is what we are very close to, which if we fly over here, it is my castle. This is 100% my favorite build on this world i love this thing it has taken me so long to get to this point and that's because of what i just said which is i absolutely just love it so i want it to be perfectly done i want it to be um just exactly the way that i envisioned it and imagined it and so this is 100 my favorite build on this world but a close second is this house right uh, this wasn't the first base I ever created on this world. Uh, this was actually the second one. And when I finished this, um, I've just spent so much time around here over the course of the last five years that it 
feels like a second home to me, which is really funny. And I just, I don't think I could ever replicate making something like this again, because the way I built in Minecraft when this was made was just so different. I was um, a newer player and I didn't understand the building techniques that much, but I still had um, an idea for building, if that makes sense. Like I still had a love for building and I enjoyed doing it, but I just didn't have as much techniques when I was making this. So you can see it's very scattered and boxy and it's got some weird shapes to it. Whereas um, my new modern stuff, if we check like what we built today, this is a lot more refined with the details and the shapes. And you can see everything is just put together a lot better. So um, my building has definitely improved over the course of the last five years, but uh, there's just something about this old style between these two that I just really love. So uh, I would say that's probably my favorite build in this world, but I think as we work in the city a little bit more, uh, we're gonna have some other stuff that's gonna be pretty cool. All right, so I think that's our build completed for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I had a lot of fun building this thing and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So um, yeah, that was a cool build. And uh, thank you to whoever suggested that uh, we worked on uh, the sniffer thing. I know I saw one comment. I can't remember who it was from, but um, yeah, obviously there we go. That's our build. I'm really happy with how that turned out. I actually really like the roof texturing we did. I think that was a cool way of doing that there instead of having it be random and scattered. But I believe that's going to be it for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one.